There are many medications used to manage type 2 diabetes, each with its pros and cons. Metformin is an oldie, but a goodie. It made its debut on the global stage in 1957, when it was introduced in France. Since then, it's journeyed across borders, finding its place on the prestigious World Health Organization Essential Drug List. With decades of real-world experience, a lot is known about it. A lot. Not everything. Unfortunately, exactly how it works is still a somewhat contentious issue. But we're getting there. One thing that is known is anyone taking metformin for an extended period of time is vulnerable to a vitamin B12 deficiency. It's known. It's not always confronted, and it needs to be. Now, the vitamin B12 problem doesn't happen to everyone. Stats suggest that it impacts around a third of patients who take it, and the longer you take it, the higher the risk. Of course, why this happens is also not known. There are a few theories and a Chinese team of researchers decided it was time to get to the bottom of this. Knowing that metformin does its magic mainly in the gut, and since a lot of the action with vitamin B12 happens there too, the team suspected this was where the investigation should begin. Vitamin B12 is something bacteria need. Now, a couple of them know how to make it. Most of them beg, borrow, or steal it from their neighbors. Yes, there are criminal elements everywhere, including your gut. Now, our team had a hunch. Someone was stealing human vitamin B12. And Metformin was unwittingly aiding and abetting the thief. So they set about looking for the thief. They assessed the vitamin B12 status of newly diagnosed type 2 diabetics who had been treated exclusively with metformin for a period of between 12 and 24 weeks. They grouped them into vitamin B12 sufficient and vitamin B12 deficient, taking the cutoff point to be 200 picograms per milliliter. Next, they collected poop samples and human fecal genomic DNA was extracted and sequenced to take a look at who was who in the zoo. And there were differences. Join us for this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV as we come face to face with the vitamin B12 bandit haunting metformin's legacy so you know what to do to protect yourself. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, a scientist turned gremlin buster helping you battle sugar gremlins, heifer lumps and other health horribles through better body chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. Now, when the team crunched the numbers, Bacteroides ovatus stood out as a potential troublemaker. Now, previous research had already shown that the Bacteroides bacteria produce a special B tug that can get the vitamin B12 off intrinsic factor. So next, the team explored how Bacteroides ovatus behaved when it was exposed to increasing concentrations of metformin in a dish. In a word, Bacteroides ovatus loved it. Growth rates spiked as reflected by the increase in optical density. That growth spike was not seen in other gut residents. The E. coli clan were oblivious to metformin's presence. There was no difference in its growth rate at any of the concentrations of metformin tested. Now the team wondered if the boost in growth might be connected to the missing vitamin B12. They already knew B. ovatus was not a vitamin B12 producer. When they took a look inside B. ovatus following exposure to different doses of metformin, it was clear in a lab dish at least, metformin helps B. ovatus 
squirrel away vitamin B12. And genetic studies showed when B. ovatus was exposed to metformin, the bacteria expressed more B. tug on its surface. This protein allowed the bacteria to tug vitamin B12 out of the hands of intrinsic factor. The next question was, did it also happen in the body? To test this out, they deliberately infected, oh, no, no, I mean colonized, young mice with B. ovatus. The helping hand ensured increased levels in both the small intestine and colons of these mice. Suitably primed, the team proceeded to expose the mice to normal doses of metformin for four weeks. At the end of this time period, vitamin B12 status was assessed. And metformin transformed B. ovatus into a vitamin B12 kleptomaniac. This can be seen here. Both metformin and B. ovatus had to be present to create a vitamin B12 shortage. Now, B. ovatus is not the only potential drain on vitamin B12 supplies. There is a long list of other things that can put supplies at risk. Lack of adequate dietary supplies is frequently a problem because vitamin B12 is only available in animal-based protein. Decreased acid production, bacterial overgrowth in the small intestine, any inflammation in the gut, and shortages of intrinsic factor can all compromise vitamin B12 availability. This study showed the shortages of vitamin B12 commonly encountered in patients taking metformin is not due to metformin's action directly, but because metformin is unwittingly aiding and abetting a common gut resident. Aish. The situation needs to be actively managed. First prize would be to exterminate B. ovatus. But although antibiotics can do this in the long run, they'll create too much collateral damage. So this is not an option. But not doing anything can put you in line for a lot of problems down the line, especially nerve problems. And as a diabetic, you're already at a high risk of suffering from peripheral neuropathy. Stats suggest 20 to 80% of type 2 diabetics suffer from diabetic neuropathy. And it happens even when glycemic control is good. I suspect B. ovatus is a contributing factor to this high statistic. If you're taking metformin to manage your diabetes, your vitamin B status should be routinely tested and steps should be taken to ensure that the levels are adequate. This research hints that simply eating more or taking an oral supplement will not be enough to counter the impact of the vitamin B12 bandit metformin is inadvertently aiding and abetting. Adequate vitamin B supply is a necessity if you want to enjoy better body chemistry and better health. To dive deeper into creating better body chemistry and improving your health, explore our website at www.betterbodychemistry.com. We offer a library of valuable resources and free courses, all based on real science, to help you take control of your health. Know someone who's taking metformin on a routine basis? Share this video with them so they know there's a very good chance they've got a vitamin B12 thief on the loose, which has the potential to create bad body chemistry if not managed. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you catch future episodes of Better Body Chemistry TV. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Remember, Small things can make a big difference to your health.